All right, we've moved on. Back. We're going to win round four, and we're not going to punt while we're doing it. This hand is very mediocre. It's far too many lands. This hand is much better. And it's going to be a very big land war elf. Uh, Birch Law is a decent draw, I suppose. We might not end up playing it immediately, but at some point it's a card we want. The Duke of Bog. Okay, this looks like it's probably blue back control then. Well, it could be a fun one, or it could be a very grindy one. We'll soon find out. Could be one of black. Red black. Ooh. Is this reanimator maybe? I'm certainly intrigued. Priest of Titania is well worth getting into play actually. I'm going to play the Virtual Rangers and I'm going to pass. I'm going to use the Timber Watch Elf to protect us from any damage based removal effects. And then next turn I get to play both Timber Watch Elves and hopefully set up Lethal. Yeah, this is definitely Reanimator. If he gets another Mox Crusher into play, there's a real. Chittering Rats is unusual for Reanimator. Unearth. Okay. So what we have to put a card on top of our library. Sure. We're gonna draw it anyway. Chatter Rats is a 2-2 and therefore not at all relevant. Four, five, six mana. Gets in a big hit, or a little hit, and puts Chittering Rats back in the graveyard. I think I'm just going to get damage in, let the Lanor Elves die. We have so much mana that we really don't need it. Radiant Fountain. I'm not sure what's going on here. Mike and voice, yeah, okay, go my gangler, cool. This is just some sort of red black graveyard deck. Maybe it doesn't go for reanimator. I was expecting a zooms. So we're just gonna attack with both of these and then Timber watch our way to lethal. And there we go, game has ended. Cool. I have no idea what we're sideboarding here. I'm going to assume some sort of mass removal, so I won't wrap in vigor. And honestly, I don't know about anything else. Um, I'm not sure Spider Silk. Yeah, I probably do want Spider Silk Armor. It's a red deck they've probably got access to. Electricery. Um, it doesn't look like life link. Life gain is going to be as relevant as it has been in the past, so I'll cut the Essence Wardens and one of the Wellwishers and leave it at that, I think. Red and black don't... I don't think they've got any enchantments going on. Small flies, no. Yeah, that looks straightforward enough to me. I, pres I presumed we were going to be facing a lot more removal, but... 
Never mind. Um, this is an interesting one, because yes, we can land our elf on turn one, but then we aren't doing anything else except a timber watch if we draw a land. So I think this isn't quite good enough. We've got a lot of expensive spells. I'm going to mulligan it. We're going to keep this one on the basis that we get to scry something good to the top, and they're on the draw. Yep, Buffalo Caves. So if we draw any one mana elf or any land, this hand is perfectly playable. Maybe we're supposed to pull the longbow out. Yep, there's the looting. Let's pop the graveyard out. Kill Fiend, Faithless with UK. Does it give it haste? No, it doesn't. I don't see what's going on here, to be honest. I'm not sure our draw is good enough, but we'll see. Okay, Lana Ralph will do. I'm going to play the Lana Ralph and put the Longbow into play. Hope we don't die. Cartouche of Ambition? Oh no! Oh, okay. If you're going to kill Birchall, that's fine. This does look like an odd collection of cards our opponent's playing, though. If there's Kiln Fiends, though, we're going to want Moments Peace. Which is good to know. Lana Ralph, okay. I'm going to play the Priest of Titania. It's just the higher upside creature. We need to just get something going quickly. If they have removal for this, then so be it. These spider silk armors look like a joke now we know what our opponent's trying to beat down. And especially that we've drawn two. We really don't want to draw two. Faith of Thluting, not the worst. Again, our opponent gaining life is relatively academic because we should be able to build out a big board. Yep, just discarding some lands. Lightning Bolt though. Yeah, that is what we didn't want to see. <sighs> okay, land is good, because land lets us go Vanguard into Elf. Which is the best we could really have hoped for. Let's flash by Faith is looting again, yep. Faith is looting being extremely strong card. Yeah. It cycles, doesn't it? Yeah, lightning bolt. Oh, we're dead. Now we have to jump block with our Lana Elf. Does not look like we're getting out of this. I'm not going to block, I think. I have to go to two to try and get something going. I just don't know. How we possibly win from here? We have to chomp block with Alan Ralph. Longbow's not doing anything here. This needs to come out. Lightning, sure. I suppose we're not. Yeah, we are dead. It does three damage to us. Yep, there we go. All right, let's get these moments of peace in. Longbow out and shave down on the spider silk armor to two. I think two is sufficient for the potential other trickery. Let's 
still don't think we want huge amounts of life gain, but this is a good hand. So a lot of powerful cards, Quarian Ranger to reutilize our land drop next turn, lots of mana elves, well wisher to power through. We should be alright with this one. We're resilient to a lightning bolt. It's everything we could ask for, really. Blood Frost good. Start Aquarian Ranger. Then Birchlaw. Then we return a forest and untap the land of our elf. We make green off these two. Green here, play a vanguard. Then we make green off here for a mystic. And then we make green off these for the second mystic. There we go. Not a bad turn two. And then we get to play Wellwisher next turn. And hopefully get in for some damage and our opponent's just conceded. Bit tight to anticlimactic. But yeah, we have plenty of gas coming. So we probably would have won that if it had gone longer, hopefully. There we go, that's up to three and one. So join us for the final match five in just a moment.